Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscriber right now. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you in your various uh, different time zone. I appreciate you for your patience. Uh, some of you guys keep putting put in um uh, after seeing um uh, seeing me post it's very very refreshing to see that you guys think on my back the fact that you always want to hear from me is very amazing bro i tell you that it's special it's special now let's talk about our brother joe joyce you know a lot of people have been um clamoring for him to retire from boxing at the age of 38 citing the fact that he doesn't have it anymore or that he's going to be basically used as um, a gatekeeper now and stuff like that. I want to add this question though. Some people are saying that um, would Joe Joyce have really beaten Anthony Joshua in his prime? Joe Joyce is not as like Joe Joyce. Um, I cannot say Joe Joyce is past his prime because Joe Joyce don't throw very late. So he had to fast track it himself i wish if joe joyce turned pro earlier yeah he probably would have learned a, a, a thing or two or maybe change his style a little bit more because the the young joe joyce was very different <clears throat> you know he jabbed more um because the head movement still wasn't as chap but at least you could tell that he avoided punches and stuff like that yeah we know he got knocked down by sega kuzmi and stuff like that and I think the amateurs or something but Joe Joyce has always been a very aggressive fighter cautious at some point he felt like he would just take all, all these guys punches moving forward he did yeah I don't know if you guys watched the fight against uh Fraser Clark in the amateurs semi-pro bro it was a war literally Fraser Clark who went life and death with um with Fabio Wardley you know <clears throat> which is being uh stated that uh, that's one of the best of uh, of fights in, the, in, in the british history like that domestic fight joe joyce walked through prison club with ease like basically it was a war but just took everything prison club had to offer and he stopped him he had worked him joe joyce has always been a worker no doubt even in this fight against his <clears throat> he he um he walked through a lot of the punches she's really just landed the right hand over right hand every time and that didn't knock him down the one that knocked him down was a punch that she's really didn't even didn't even throw with intention or with intensity he didn't it wasn't a planned punch like that. it was just a punch to defend himself because she was tired he was getting beat up you look at Jesus' face and look at Jesus' face, you can tell that Jesus' face, like basically one of his eyes, like almost closed. Um, the thing is that Jesus got hot. He's always a hot. He's a tough guy. Um, I did not see him beating Joshua up, you know. Um, would you have been Joshua in, in his prime? Uh, well, like I said, Joshua is, um, is past his prime, you know. He's 38 years old. And he's never been in his prime because he he was all throughout his career he lived most of his career in the amateurs you know so he won civil he won gold and stuff like that he was supposed to be the gold medalist you know uh olympic gold medalist if not for the fact that they got they robbed them of that you know tony yoka did rob them of that let's keep it right yeah that that fight at the olympics he won it but they give it to tony yoka now Talking about him and Joshua, bro, I think um, Joshua would have been in Joe Joyce, you know, um, really by brutal, by brutal stoppage. Um, the Joe Joyce that doesn't defend um, well and Joe Joyce that wants to walk through punches. There are punches you can walk through in every division, but Joshua's punches are not one you can walk through. The fact. You get hit by Joshua, you stay here. That's the problem. Uh, because when you see him, when he saw that he fought Jan Lee, Jan Lee's 
extremely powerful, right? Let's keep it right here. Jean Jelly is extremely powerful. The Jews didn't respect Jean Jelly's power, and that was a big, a big problem. You can take punches from certain people, but Jean Jelly punches very hard. So it would have been, um, it would have been a, a devastating uh, knockout, you know. Or maybe Jones would have tried to overpower Anthony Joshua. We would, we would not know now. Because we can also say the same as, oh, maybe Dubois would have been in Jojo's size may fight. But you don't want to get hit by Anthony Joshua. Uh, it's just fat. Uh, anybody that gets hit by Joshua stay hit. And that's, that's even Gano, who has a, a iron jaw, who's been kicked to the head and basically thrown everything and throughout his own life, he thought maybe, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go in there. I will take Joshua's punches. Well, he took it and that changed the fight. So you don't go with the intention of saying, yeah, I'm, I can take this guy's punches and stuff like that now. But I do get it. I do. Now, um, should Joshua retire? People are clamoring for his retirement, saying that he has nothing else to offer now. Well, Joshua is 38. I don't think he should retire. No. But at this at this stage in Joshua's career, he has to know what he wants. Okay? Like, if he wants, if he's, this is Joshua's job. This is his job, basically. So you cannot tell someone to retire from his, from his job, his livelihood. Um... Joe of course, is a graduate. You know, he has other skill set. He's an artist. He's very, very good in what he does. But when, when, you, when someone has been boxing for a long time, and that's their livelihood, that's their passion, you can just tell them to retire. It doesn't make sense. Now, when we should, if we should look at it right now, what would Joe what, what would the level of Joe be if he doesn't retire? I tell you right now, Joe Joyce still has a chance against any of the top 10 now. Styles may fight. The same Joe Joyce beat Joseph Parker. The same Joe Joyce beat Dana Dubois. Just look at the resume proud to Jangeli. Let's look at the resume proud to Jangeli. Now you look at the resume right now, right? His pro debut against Ian Lewis. Rudolf Z Zogis, Zogi, I don't know, Z uh, Hose, Z Hosech, Donny Palmer, Laren Thomas, Ivaka Baruk Bakurin, Iago Kilatsi. Iago Kilatsi, we know if Iago Kilatsi a tough cookie. Iago Kilatsi is a tough cookie. Joe Ang, Bermer Steven, former world champion, Alexander Ustinov, Brian Janis, Michael Wallace. Daniel Dubois, Carlos Takam, Christian Ama, Joseph Parker. So, you see, Joe Joyce is, so having three losses, yes, it, when, you, when he looks at the loss against the Chisora, he's going to be like shaking his head because this was supposed to be him basically knocking Chisora off uh, because Chisora wants to still have two fights, something like that. To make it sorry think his career and say okay maybe i should retire now but he's a tough guy he, he's been in tougher fights than joe joyce so he would never retire because of Ju -Ju, because if, even if you just beat him or knocked him out now the, the downfall came from the fight against jan Jalei twice and that you know there's there are people that can that will hit you and you will stay hit so that cracked joe joyce confidence and it's just one of those things you say, yeah, you just have to rethink now, where do I want to be in my career? What do I want to achieve? He will never be the only spirit with champion. But you can never count him out on becoming a world champion because the belts are going to be scattered all over soon. And it depends on who he fights. If he fights Joshua, I don't see him winning in that performance because even though he has the engine, he gets hit by Joshua. It's a big problem. 
he's not taking Juju's punches three or four times. That's a thing. You know what I mean? Juju punches very hard, and he's a beast in it. Yeah, but you never know. Maybe he can have worked Juju. Now, if you if we should look at the uh, the world rankings, who Juju who Juju can beat here? Against Ajit Kabaya, it would be a tough fight. I don't think Ajit Kabaya can stop Juju, even though I think Juju is like you know in his prime or stuff like that. I think it will go to distance. Ajit Kabaya might win on, on points. Passing Fury, this will be a tricky fight. I think Juju has a chance against Fury. Dubois, he already beat Dubois. Dubois is the fifth uh, best everywhere right now, but Juju already beat Dubois. The fuck are the same thing. So all those guys that he's beating are up there now. And he's down here. So, Michael Hunter, I don't know how this fight will play out, but I think against Michael Hunter, Jujuez might be Michael Hunter. I think Jujuez, this Jujuez right now, not maybe not a year older, but now, Michael Hunter has not been that active and has been fighting low level position. I don't think he has the power to hurt Jujuez. But in order for you to beat Jujuez, you have to be, you have to have the power to hurt him. To, you have to get the res respect. Even Chisora didn't get Juju's respect. That's facts. Just that the punch that knocked Juju down was a punch that you, you can't, like, he didn't see coming. It's, it happened. Manti Bakuli against Juju would be very tricky. It's a tricky fight, interesting fight. I will see, I will see what happens in um, in Las Vegas, in Los Angeles. Manti Bakuli, uh, this is, uh, you know, Granderson. Otto Wallen. I think you just beat Otto Wallen. Frank Sanchez. Be an interesting fight. Frank Sanchez might beat Jujuez on point. You know, unless Jujuez does something like changes the style and go to the body more and throws a jab. Jujuez has a lot of attributes. Just don't know why he didn't. He doesn't change his style like um, for fights. He fights the same way. And that's the problem. Murag Gaziev, I think he beats uh, Murag Gaziev. If your Jagba will be a tricky fight. I don't want to say them fight because they are both Nigerians and stuff like that. Even fight with Joshua, but at this rate, nobody really cares anymore. That one will be very, very interesting because um, Ajagba punches very hard. Ajagba, Ajagba, Ajagba fights on. Uh, Ajagba takes takes his time. And when fighting, you know, he's not a, he doesn't, Jujuez fights with intensity. So, it's all about, can Jujuez get Ajagba's respect? You know, but I believe with Ajagba's power, <laughs> Jujuez will, will, will feel it. I think it will be better, it will better, if you fight Ajagba, you have to avoid, you have to avoid Ajagba's uh, right hand. To be a war. Ajakba also go hard. So Ajakba is so proven. You see Ajakba, how Ajakba has changed, you know, over the years and how it's like mastering another style now, moving, stuff like that. I just wish you to have that. But I wish him luck. Justi, Justi Unis. I don't, Justi Unis, I don't know much about this guy though. Luis Ortiz is the old man. Um, Steve very tricky, but I think Jujuz will overpower him. He will land on Jujuz though. I just think you need to get Jujuz respect. If you don't get respect, it's just what it is. They're just right now, you know, um, it's, be it's just funny how this fighting game works though, if you look at it. Like, the the top five, top six, everywhere has been beaten by Jujuz. Both stopped by Jujuz. That's how crazy it is. Both stopped. Man. What do you guys make of this? Why don't you to subscribe? And go be store for the podcast channel. Stay blessed.